First at 530, uh, 530, a chaotic night searching for a stolen van with two dogs inside. It came to an end in Pawtucket last night, but the search is still far from over. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kim Kalunian and I'm Shannon Heggy. Police are still looking for the woman they say is responsible for stealing this van. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer spoke to the man who was driving the van when it was taken. She joins us now in studio with what he and one of the dog owners call a roller coaster of emotions. Brittany. Well, Kim Shin and the dogs were going through a five day training camp with the doggy daycare owner. He tells me he was within 20 feet of the van the entire time. And when he realized it and both dogs were gone, panic set in. Turned into a multi state manhunt. A manhunt still underway as police search for a woman who stole a van with two dogs inside. The incident started here in Rentham. Tailblazers University owner Joshua Nichols says he ran into the shop to buy a lock to fix a kennel. He tells me he left the AC running for the dogs, parked right out front, and it was gone for two minutes. My headset pinged because uh, my cell phone was leaving the premises. It's blown away. And, uh, and and right away the concern that I have two animals in the vehicle. Witnesses say they saw a woman begging for money and a ride moments earlier. Nichols says the entire Tailblazers team immediately went out searching for the van as the suspect police say was driving erratically on 495 South. It's helplessness that you know I'm driving around aimlessly. It's a bad phone call I had to make to the owners. A tough phone call that went to the Fernandos warranting this reaction. My husband got the call and I heard him just saying, oh my God, what are you talking about? With so much disbelief, I can't believe someone would sail a veil with dogs in it. So concerned for my little pup. I mean, she's a baby. Fernando, concerned for her six month old sheep doodle Tessie, and also two year old Frida, would end in Pawtucket for agonizing hours later with a tail wagging reunion. Tessie, oh my girly. I'm beside myself. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And while the van was found, the woman who stole it was not. Police do believe she wanted the van and not the dogs inside. Rentham police believe they have identified the suspect and hope to make an arrest soon. Live in studio, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News.